Hi and welcome to Geeks for Kids. Today we would be discussing the problem sum of two large numbers. In this problem, we are given two numbers in the form of string, and we just need to add it. So now, suppose we are given the value of the first string as two five zero zero and then twenty three. So if we do the sum two five zero zero added to twenty three. The value would be two five two three, which is the answer itself. So now, to solve this problem, it is very easy to figure out. But the implementation is the main thing here. So the algorithm for solving this problem lies in the manual addition. Suppose we have two five zero zero, then we write twenty three at this position. And then we start adding from the back. This is what we generally do. So now let's take the example of nine 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 added to nine nine, so that we would have the carry part. Too. So now what we can do is we need to do is we need to just have nine nine and then ninety nine. So now to facilitate this thing, see this difference in this. So instead of deciding this gap and then figuring out and then mapping out. What we can do is, we can just flip it, like nine 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 and nine nine nine, and we would just start adding from the back. Okay, this is what we generally do. Suppose we have one two nine nine, and we need to write ninety nine. So what we would do is, first we would reverse the number. So we would have nine nine two one, and then this side also we would reverse the number. That is ninety nine. And then we would see ninety nine, and then if you see that if we start adding from the back, and at the end if we flip the result, we would have the original result, like nine 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 eighteen, okay, so that would be eight, and one would be passed, and then nine plus nine eighteen, then nineteen, so nine would be there and one would be there, this would be three. And this would be one, and if we need to reverse it, this would be one, three, nine, eight. So let us see the value: one, two, nine, nine, plus ninety-nine. That is one, three, nine, eight. So this is what we would do. We would first take the string, then we would flip it, and then we would flip the second also. Then we would start matching the zeroth with zeroth. First with first, so basically we would start adding the ith value with the ith value of the next one, okay. And we would also maintain a variable known as carry, which would have this thing also. And at the end, whatever string we are getting, we would just reverse this value. Now let us move to the implementation so that you would understand it much better. First, we would reverse the x and the y string. So we would have reverse x comma begin, and then x comma end, and then we would simply copy this line, and then we would reverse with the y also, and both is reversed. Now, if you observe that. We would try to have the first element as the longer one. Why? Because we would just facilitate. You can handle both the cases by using if statement, but we would try to make the first statement long itself. So we would say that if x dot size is less than y dot size, then swap x comma y. Then we would have int n is equals to s dot Size itself and m is equals to y dot size itself. We will just take out the size also, and then we would have i is equals to zero for x and j is equals to zero for y, and then we would first iterate all the elements where in both the strings element are present, because after that we would have to have just this and the carry itself. So we would say while i is less than m, as well as m is, as well as j is also less than m. That means 
in both the scenarios the element is present then what we would do is we would first have the carry part so carry plus equals to we would first update the carry it is x of i minus the value of zero we are just extracting the value of the digit plus we would do the same thing y of i minus the value of zero we have taken out both the values and then instead of saving the value in one more string to return we would save the value in the x itself so we would just manipulate the x itself so we would just store the answer in x x of i is equals to the character 0 plus whatever the value we want to give that is carry modulo 10 itself okay and then we would say carry the first value is already kept so you just divide yourself by 10 and then we would it make i and j both move forward and now there might be some elements left in the i okay so while i is less than n so we would say again same thing carry plus equals to x of i minus the value of just zero and then we would save the value in x only that is the character zero plus the value of carry modulo 10 itself and then we would have the same procedure and then we would move forward the ith value so now the same thing here just we are ignoring the part y then now let's suppose the scenario when it is 99 with 99 so this would be 9 plus 9 so this would be 9 plus 9 18 this would be 9 plus 9 18 and 19 so again we have some carry left that is why we are having here this point this thing so now we would also check when the digits are over but there is some carry left so while carry is left so then we would say x dot push back whatever the value is left that is carry modulo 10 and then we would have carry divided by equals to 10 and then we would return the value of x but there is more to it suppose we after this we have 1 1 1 9 8 so these values needs to be removed or else suppose the value is like this 0 0 0 and this is 0 0 so the value should come as 0 but if we are doing the string thing this would come as 0 0 0 which won't be accepted so we need to trim the zero element okay so we would before what we would say is while there is some element left what is x dot size there is some element left if there is some element left we would say if x dot the last element okay because that would come to the front x dot back element is equals to equals to the value zero then we would say x dot pop back now we would just reverse the value reverse of x dot begin the answer variable would just reverse x dot end itself okay now there is one more scenario as we have all, trimmed out all the zeros that means suppose the answer is just zero so we have just trimmed this so the answer is now an empty string but we need to return zero so we would say if the string is empty we would return zero so if x dot size equals to equals to zero then we would return zero else what we would do is we would return the value of x now let us just compile and run for the sample test cases okay let so us try to submit this and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac are we are just iterating on each of the element the time complexity is big o of n and the space complexity of this is constant because we are not using any auxiliary array or something so if you were here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and leaving a small comment such as understood or just one thank you and have a nice day